Hey there, toy collector friends and Doctor Who fans alike. Welcome back to the channel. This is the Triple TC, that's the Time Travelling Toy Collector. And in this video, we are looking at the Doctor Who fourth Doctor's TARDIS. This was a special release by Master Replica as part of their launch of the TARDIS, um, well, the TARDIS shell collection, really. Um, part of what they've picked up license-wise from the defunct Eagle Moss. Um, they are now producing their own well, or will be producing their own figurine collection. And part of that they've launched it with is Fourth Doctor's TARDIS. Uh, well, all the Doctor's TARDISes. Well, not even all the Doctor's TARDISes, but a couple of the Doctor's TARDISes. Um, and one of them was the Fourth Doctor's. And it's a special edition that was only available to, in the first instance, um, the subscribers to their um, collector's club, which I chose to do because there are some perks to it. Um, and this was one of them. So this is the packaging, it's kind of standard. I'm hoping you can see the TARDIS inside through the window. I've tried to set the lighting up and the balance so that you can. Um, here is the reverse side. Um, so we can see the particular product uh, shot there. If we try desperately to get it into focus. Um, fourth Doctor's TARDIS, the TARDIS itself, and the test. Maybe if we just, there we go. Um, and we can see that this is the version uh, that made its debut in the Mask of Mandragora. Um, and there is a typo there, but uh, uh, I'm not going to tell them. Uh, and then it carried on until the Horns of Nylon. But uh, yeah, so this is what it should look like on the inside. Um, again, this was a special edition for uh, the collectors. You'll notice the box is a blue hue. Uh, as opposed to the uh, pink hues of the other ones. Uh, it's again, should be straightforward to get into. I haven't yet taken this one out. I have cut the um, tape for ease. The initial plastic sealing element should just lift out and it does. Again, nothing else is, I'm gonna be careful now, because nothing else is holding that TARDIS um, in place. So as soon as that's out of place, it's just immediately lift outable. Uh, so let me just pop this over here so we've got a little bit of a backdrop um, to the to the uh, to the main event. I'll just slightly adjust my angle there. So here we have the exterior plasmic shell of the fourth doctor's TARDIS um, as it appeared from Mask of Mandragora onwards. And again uh, I think this is a really neat little figure. Um, some people have commented on the previous ones that uh, they look like sort of uh, paperweights and things like that. And I suppose to an extent they kind of do look like that. Um, but they are part of the scale. I would say that they do scale with the, um, the pre-existing Doctor figures and companion figures from the uh, defunct Eagle Moss collection. But... Uh, we shall see what comes out from Master Replica in the fullness of time. Before we sort of pick this up and go any further, I would invite you, if you don't mind, um, and if indeed you feel you should, uh, to like the video. It really does help and uh, helps the, the, the video get noticed and helps promote and push the channel. It's only a small channel, so it's, it's quite nice to get noticed beyond my little corner of the internet. Um, and in addition to that, it would be really great if you could uh, drop a subscription to the channel. Um, again, trying desperately to get to my next subscriber milestone and every click helps on that front. Uh, no obligation, you'd have to watch every video uh, and indeed uh, there's no cost implication for you. So it's, it's, it, it's a no loss, win, win, win situation. Uh, but if you're just here for the video, that's fantastic too. I'm glad I've got you along for the ride. So. With that said, um, let's pick up this and have a bit of a closer look. Now, the lamp has been, I mean, again, we've always known that there are certain paint issues, or there have been certain paint issues with, with previous models. Um, there's a bit of blue paint bleed on the lantern. Um, but again, this is, a, We've, we've got to accept that the scale is one thing or the other. So if we're going for this small scale, we have to accept that the, there are some risk elements to accurate paint work um, at that level of scale. 
because uh, similarly where the police box sign is there's a little bit of slippage around the edges if we're being super super picky um, which I am being because it's uh, kind of what I'm here for but by the same token uh, it's not a massive issue and I think it's perfectly passable in terms of what we would notice or not notice from a distance and I think at this scale that's always my sort of consideration uh, would we see any of this from a distance there's a couple of little bits there that aren't great but again this is the reverse of the, the TARDIS it's the back so I am not intending to display this model uh, with its back facing forwards. Now again, it can be used for some photo shoots. Uh, again, it's got a, a bit of a slightly off-centered uh, felt base that will assist with uh, non-slippage uh, and non-scratchage, I suppose. Um, we have got a keyhole and, mm, like another keyhole, no handles. Uh, we've got the door here, which was blue uh, back then. I quite like the effect on the windows. It's very neat. Um, the roof is a little bit uh, raked, but not completely. Um, I did think this looked a lot like the one from Sharda, but it clearly isn't. Got a chunky base there, uh, which seems in keeping. Um, I, I re again, and I know I sound like a broken record, but if you, you know, if you're prepared to accept some of the minor, and they are minor, because we are very close looking at this, you know, from a from a distance, we're not likely to see some of these some of these issues, you know. And again, it depends what you're going to use it for. It, it it might it lends itself pretty well to um, photography. It lends itself pretty well. Uh, to display because that's what it's for to display model and because of the way that they much like the the recent vortex figures and if you've not seen my video on that please do check it out because again i've done three one for the one for the packaging really and the, and the presentation because a lot of love and care went into designing it for collectors in my opinion but it's a similar situation for these because without all the hassle of having to uncut them or unscrew them or whatever else they've got to do you can take them out, handle them, take photos, do whatever you like, but you can still then put them back into an intact box and have them on display this way so they don't get pet hair or um, dust or whatever else may, may accumulate on them. And I think that's a really thoughtful, um, a, little, a little bit of thought, of thought that goes into the packaging. So um, I, I like that in this. I liked it in the Vortex figures. Um, so I'm, I'm very, very here for that idea um, because I will be putting this back probably uh, once I've done a few photos uh, into the box for safe keeping um, but yeah I really really like it it is very clearly uh, scaled with the the others in the in the range and if you like you can see my whole playlist on the TARDIS plasmic shells which so far consists of the only entry from Eagle Moss which was the 11th Doctor's TARDIS and then two first doctor tardises one is the traditional blue another is a gray scaled black and white tardis as it would have appeared during an unearthly child and other stories um on a black and white tv show um i like these i'll be honest uh I, i'm a bit invested in them i was a bit humming and hiring i wasn't too sure if i would um but i kind of do i kind of do i appreciate they don't scale with my stuff but I do kind of like them. Um, so it is a big thumbs up for me. I am, of course, really interested to know your thoughts. Do you like these? Um, I know some people have said they're a little bit too small. They look like uh, paperweights. They're this, they're that. Um, but, you know, if you wanted to use one of these as a paperweight, do it. It's uh, perfect desk sized um, without taking up too much space. If people still have paper and need a paperweight, couldn't ask for a better one, to be honest. And because of the felt bottom, yes, I've said it again, uh, it's perfectly secure. You know, it's not going to damage the paperwork. Um, so let me know. Let me know down below. 
Do you think this is a good collection? Have you picked them up? Are you enamored by them? Are you somebody that's had some annoying paint issues or, or alignment issues? Which so far, I've been pretty lucky to not have. Um, are you someone who thought about getting these and now you've seen these videos, you're like, yeah, definitely not. Or actually, definitely, yes, I'm going to pick these up. Um, and what TARDISes are you looking forward to seeing in the future? I'm going to give you one of mine. I really want to see an Eighth Doctor's TARDIS from the TV movie. Um, we never got one. We haven't had one from character options. We haven't got one in this scale yet. I really, really would love one. Um, there are technically two, aren't there? But, that, but I think the other one also double, would double as the War Doctor's TARDIS, the one with the sort of white scorchy marks on it. Um, but that's another possibility. But I would really, really like um, the uh, the Eighth Doctor's TARDIS as it appeared in the TV movie. That one I would like. Uh, but there are more. And of course, I'm sort of shelf warming these videos with this uh, and the other TARDISes as they come out um, because I'm really here for the TARDIS consoles. And I really am hoping that those TARDIS consoles start coming back real soon. So if you're also really keen on the TARDIS consoles, let me know which ones you've already got. Let me know if there's any you missed and you really wish you'd, you'd managed to pick them up. Um, and which ones are you really hoping to see Master Replicas get behind and start pushing out into the market? Because there are quite a few. And depending on how they wish to deviate from uh, the core the core Doctor's TARDIS um, consoles, there may be some other TARDIS consoles uh, out there that they could lift and use the plans for for some other models and because i'm a sucker for them i probably would get them but let me know in the comments down below um which ones you're looking forward to if indeed you are looking forward to any thank you for spending the last 10 minutes with me i appreciate there's lots of other things you could have been doing with your day i hope you found this of interest as mentioned if you could like the video that would be fantastic but don't worry if not. But if you could drop a subscription to the channel, that would be double fantastic. But again, don't worry if you can't. But it would be really good if you could. I'm not going to beg. Although it does sound like I'm begging, which I sort of am. But I'm not going to admit it. Anyway, thanks very much for sending, spending your time with me. I have been the Triple TC. That's the Time Travelling Toy Collector. You've been a wonderful audience. This has been the Master Replicas, Fourth Doctor's TARDIS, as it started to appear in The Mask of Mandragora, right through to the horns of Naimon. Um, and it was a special release as part of the Master Replicas Collectors Club um, subscription group thing. Um, I don't know what you call it. I can't remember what it's called. Something like that. Um, but if it has other special things, I'll let you know as and when they come along. That's of interest uh, to me. I won't be keeping an eye on everything that is not of interest to me. Sorry. That's just life. Um, anyway, take care. I very much look forward to seeing you in a future or, of course, a past video. And it just remains for me to say that things of beauty really are toys forever. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>